Hello, everybody, and welcome to Cloud Live. It is Tuesday. It is 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, the time of times, and I am your host, Dragon Blaker. You can call me Blake, okay? And like I just said, you are watching Clown Live, an Amazon Live interactive shopping experience presented to you by Shopping Dragons. What up, though? How's it been the last 24 hours? Hey, what's up, Rover? I see you in the chat. Welcome to the show. I love when you join me every day here. Uh, it feels so good to see you. How's been your last day? Mine's been all right. Uh, I did, um, Mima stayed out uh, for family day. We had an extra holiday here in Canada, family day on February 20. So she stayed with her parents yesterday and she came home this morning. But when she came home, she was quite tired. So I suggested take a nap before she went off to work today. And she did. Uh, and then uh, I followed shortly behind her. I went and took a nap. And today, for the first time, I mean, I got up early today. I was awake for a couple of hours, but I did go back to sleep. And so, like, technically, for the first time today, I woke up, like, after noon, after noon today. So that was kind of crazy uh, because uh, pretty much right when I woke up, it was time for Mima to get ready to leave for work. And, uh, yeah, we didn't get to really see each other too much this morning um since she's been home from seeing her family all weekend and yeah so i'm excited for her to come home tonight so we can spend some time together uh, i haven't seen her for a few days <clears throat> uh other than that i've been going crazy because like i can admit without shame that i'm not the most organized person i'm not i'm looking at myself here uh, i'm feeling like guilty while i look at myself but it is true it is a true statement um, that I'm not the most organized person. And I had I have this great shelf for all the products that we showcase here on Amazon. They're right here, uh, you know, to the side of me. But I've got a whole table that is full of stuff that is unorganized. And I'm looking at it and it's stressing me out. I've got to I've got to step up my organization game. And, uh, and after today's show, I think I really need to organize everything because honestly, I'm not joking. It looks like hoarders in here. It looks like hoarders behind me. It looks like <laughs> the table, uh, see this table, this is organized for today's show. Uh, imagine this on every other surface, unorganized, unorganized. So I I've got to go through it. 
I've got to go through it and I've got to organize it uh, because it's just an absolute mess. It's a disaster in here and I'm staring at it and I'm just, you can't see it, but it's driving me crazy. <clears throat> so uh, my shelf is too small. I need to order a larger shelf. I think I'm going to do that in the next week or two. Uh, I'm going to get like a nice like rack. Uh, I've talked about them before. You know, the racks that you see like commonly in a kitchen, right? The wire racks with the bars that have the black plastic pieces that support like, you know, they support different weights, some up to 2000 pounds, right? I think I need a rack like that. And I think I need to put it here behind me. I think I need to have everything stacked on me. I really want to make a major renovation to the house and remove a wall and make two rooms into one. I have a lot. I live uh, here in the park, right? I live in the mobile home, we know. And uh, from wall to wall, the other wall isn't far from me. I could probably stay in frame and touch it. I can't see if I'm in frame. The, the other wall's right here. Anyway, it's maybe like 13 feet wide. I think it's 13 feet wide. Uh, and so when we go to the back of the house, I've got a little laundry foyer area, like, you know, I kind of call it. And then there's a door that goes into the back room. And I want to eliminate the wall between the back room. I want to make that and the foyer. And I want to make it one giant room that I can reutilize as like a studio kind of scenario. You know what I mean? So that we don't always have everything set up here in the living room. I've been very satisfied since we made the move from <laughs> the living room to the, uh, uh, excuse me, since I made the move from the cramped kitchen to the much wider living room area, it's been a lot greater, but uh, I do recognize that like, it's, it's like, it needs to be changed and everything that we do for Amazon needs to be like moved to the back. But the thing is the room, the room that exists in the back is just like, it's just, too small like it's just a little bit too small so with the wall removed we would have all the space i think uh that we could reutilize as like studio area lady bacon clown love blake wore your shirt today and already people are asking about it well give them the website tell them to come here and check us out at amazon.com slash live slash shopping dragons and you can tell them clown live is every weekday at 5 p.m and hopefully They'll pop out and maybe we'll get some new followers. That would be pretty cool. Thank you for joining me here today, Lady Bacon. I'm just uh, talking about how I would like to rip down a wall in my house. And I don't, I recognize that things aren't cheap. <clears throat> I recognize that things aren't cheap to do, but, uh, and I know that things need to be done like within like a certain protocol needs to be executed when making a renovation. But I live in a trailer park home, right? So the place is only, like I said, 13 feet inside wide. You know what I'm saying? So, like, I don't even think we need any specific, like, joists or anything. If we were to remove that wall, I think it's just, like, a wall that was built there to make a room. To make a room, you know what I'm saying? And so... Like, I don't know. I don't know. I'm speculating wildly because I genuinely don't know. Uh, what if I, like, if I wanted to start the process, like, can I, am I saving money by taking down all the drywall myself? You know what I mean? Is there work that I can do that saves time? If it's just like, I don't even have a problem. I mean, I guess I shouldn't say that, but I, I, I full stopped with my idea. My idea was I just want to rip down the wall and move back there ASAP and then like slowly build up around me. I just want to get back there as soon as possible. And uh, I just want to rip the wall down. But I recognize that it might not be that easy. Taking oh, down, oh, excuse me for speaking like I can't read. Taking down a wall in a trailer would be a bit of work, I think. Yeah, maybe. I mean, it's, <clears throat> pardon me. It's, uh, it's like, I don't know. I really don't know because I don't have experience doing it, but it's just essentially a wall like this. It's just essentially a wall like this. The wall is, you know, it's not wide. Now this particular wall is uh, a bit thicker than your standard type of wall, but the wall is just this wide. This is as, it doesn't get any wider in the trailer. This is as wide as it gets. If you were to gut the entire place, this is the interior rectangle that you get, right? So, um, so yeah, I mean, like, is that wall? I don't know. I, and I know that you don't know, but I'm saying 
Is that wall in the back, is it just framed in? And is it something that could be easy to just take down the drywall and then have somebody who knows the electrical work can come and like take care of the plugs and everything? Um, but even still then, like I would never, I can confidently say that I would absolutely never attempt to move like an electrical outlet on my own or even consider like, even if I did like the thing where I would turn the, I'd, I've never touched electrical in my life. I've never touched it in my life, but I'm saying like, imagine if, um, imagine if I turned the whole main house breaker off so that no electricity was going to any breakers. What is the job? Pull down the drywall, pull out all the studs. Like you can cut it out, I guess. Right. And make sure that you don't hit the wires, remove the plug, take the wire out of the main box. Is that is that as e is that as easy as it sounds? I don't know. I would never attempt it. I would never attempt it. But I wish that the wall. I wish that the wall at the back of the house, which is this wide, uh, I, I wish I could just rip it out. I wish it would just be simple to rip out. And then I wish that I could just like uh, just put like the cheapest way to fix the drywall in the room. You know what I'm saying? Like just I hope that I could just rip out. Maybe this is wildly unrealistic because I don't understand the job, but I would like to just rip out what I hope is a framed in wall. It would be easy to remove. And then like just there's I know what floor exists under the floor that's in there currently. So I would just peel back to the old original floor and then just get a big area rug until it was time to like. Uh, fix the floors. You know what I mean? Because I know that it's a really expensive job. If I'm going to rip out the wall, then I'm going to want to consider doing the floors and everything. And I, I don't, I'll, I don't, I don't do that. Like, I, excuse me, let me rephrase that. I currently don't have the savings to financially prioritize that job. So I really want to rip out the wall and just kind of deal with it in a slow manner. And I don't know if that's quite an option for me. Uh, I've talked to a couple people and they've given me a couple quotes. And it seems like, uh, wow, it seems like, wow. You know what I mean? James says, you may not need to open the walls and electrician may be able to move and add plugs for you. Uh, could be done for sure just by just uh, by cardboard and make a mansion. I'd love to live in a cardboard mansion. I'd like to live in a solar panel fort. I feel like that would be pretty efficient. But uh, yeah, ripping out the wall, like I've been saying for the last five minutes is, it's absolutely a goal that I have. I don't have the best way to take a camera to the back of the house, but like I said, where I live, it, it, it looks like this. It's just, it's a door. It's a door on a wall and there's like a light switch um, and like a single plug. I think there's a light switch and a single plug, two plugs at most, two plugs at most on the wall. So yeah, I really, really would like to rip the wall down and have a big, big area in the back for doing everything. <clears throat> if you want to extend the wall, easy 10K. I don't want to extend anything. I just want to, like, this, what is behind this wall is the same that's behind the wall in the back of the house. Uh, right now, we're in the front. We're in the front of the house, and in the front of my house is my bedroom, and the bedroom is basically, like, 10 by 12 or something inside, right? Because it's, it's 12 feet by, I think, 10 feet maybe. So not the biggest room, and it's an equal size at the back. And I'd love to knock this wall down, too. I'd love to knock down this entire wall and the wall in the back. I'd like to get, like, a room divider. And uh, I've been looking at this giant um, garment hanging rack, essentially a closet. And the bedroom, okay, the bedroom here, it has no framed windows in it. Uh, because it's the front of the house, there's only one window on this parallel wall. And the man who lived here before I moved in was a musician. And he wanted to make a room that was more soundproof. So that wall, uh, that room has no windows in it. So against this wall that is parallel to this, 10 feet away, the, AKA the very front of the house, <clears throat> I'd like to get this garment rack. I've talked about it on the show before. And I'd like to run it the whole length of the wall, pretty much, and then and then rip this whole wall down, and literally have my living space and my bedroom space one large area that can easily be divided with like a, a simple room divider. 
instead of having the permanent wall. Because I figure at the age that I'm at now, I don't feel that I want to get into a debt. Sorry, here. <clears throat> at the age that I'm at now, I don't feel like I want to get into a debt and buy another house or necessarily go into a debt, putting an extension on the trailer park home. Uh, I feel that I have almost enough space and I would just like to make the rooms much bigger. Because Mima and I, we don't intend to have children and uh, and we entertain company, but like it would be so much more rad if if we could just like put the bed on wheels and push it up against the closet for a few hours and extend that room divider out and then have a much bigger room. Because the whole area, the whole area in the house here that's carpeted is like basically again like 12 by 10 or 12 by 12 uh and then it divides into the kitchen which is a similar uh size but a different floor material and when i moved into this place it didn't have the floors and the guy said oh if you give me another month i'll do the floors for you and he did but uh my mom and i had a disagreement about how the house should look and i'm like it needs to be all the same floor no carpet because carpet is the worst and then my mom insisted that um my mom insisted that the carpet separates the rooms and i'm like it's one big room it's it's a it's one big room so i've had the carpet since like 2009 and i'd like to take it up but i recognize that if i take up the carpet then i have to do essentially the whole floor in the house, like the whole floor. So that's what, uh, yeah, bye-bye carpet. That's what I'm trying to do. Hey, what's up, Lori B? Sorry, I haven't looked at the chat. I've just been staring at uh, myself over here, actually, and the camera a little bit. But yeah, I'm going crazy, but that's kind of like what I've been thinking about. <clears throat> I've wanted a big um, thing like that for a long time, like a larger filming space. Like generally, my kitchen living room area has been enough uh since i've been a bachelor uh and like for creating content but now now that um now that meme is here the house is very man cave and masculine and it takes up a large uh, area all the lights and the cameras and everything every day and so yeah we hardly use the back but for storage and converting the back of the house into uh a studio like i'm trying to determine uh, excuse me like i'm trying to explain i want then uh then that would force our hand to go through storage and then purge things that we don't need which i don't think is a lot but uh definitely uh that could go with a little comb over in the back for sure so that's where i'm at with my life <clears throat> i want to rip the wall down and i don't know if uh I want to rip the wall down and I don't know if I'm going to do it because I don't know how much it's going to cost. If I start fiddling around back there, then I don't think that that's going to probably be any benefit to me. So I think I need to maybe get another quote or two and, uh, and see what is like the best price I can do it for, because I know it ain't going to be cheap. Am I sick? No, I'm not sick. I've been having a problem with speaking. I don't know what my problem is. I think I just have been sitting quietly <clears throat> I think I've just been sitting quietly and not exercising my voice. And now I recognize I'm more than an arm's length away from the microphone. So I need to raise my voice. And then I'm speaking softly because I don't want to yell at you about ripping down the wall in the back of the house. It's been happening. I've been speaking at the top of my throat lately. And I need to speak more lower in my diaphragm. But I don't know. I don't know what's going on. I think I need to also get like a like not gum because I don't want to chew and speak but something that uh, activates um, saliva. In my mouth. I don't feel like I have a dry mouth. I don't feel like I have a dry mouth, but I just feel like maybe if I was swallowing more spit, I would be drinking less water, but I don't feel like I have a dry mouth. Uh, yeah, stop yelling. Yeah, no, I'm not sick at all. I've been feeling really well. Last Friday, I had a really bad migraine from sleeping poorly, but beyond that, health feels fine. Everything is great. I have nothing to complain about and uh yeah it's all uh it's all silver linings you know so yeah that's it sorry that my voice is breaking i don't know i need to like i need to talk and sing more to myself 
uh, before I go live so that I can warm up my throat. I think I'm learning that a little bit because I sang to myself alone setting up yesterday a ton of Tenacious D, and that was really fun. Um, so, yeah, anyway, I just need to exercise my voice, I'm realizing, before the show. It feels strained. It feels strained. It feels tight right here, like I'm speaking from the wrong spot in my throat. I don't know how to control it or manipulate it or make it go away. <clears throat> I don't even have anything in my throat to cough out. <clears throat> there you go. So, uh, yeah, see, regular voice, give it like 30 seconds, and then I'll, I'll just be like crackling, wheezing voice again. All right, with all that destruction talk of the house out of the way, thank you, everybody, for joining me here on Clown Live. As I said about 20 minutes ago, this is an Amazon Live interactive shopping experience presented to you by Shopping Dragons, and I'm so glad to be here today with all of you. We are going to talk about all of the products on the table. It's an all-product show today. I'm pretty stoked about that. So let's get started. We're going to bring in our other camera here. And give it a second to catch up on some bit rate. Usually it needs to do that kind of thing. And uh, yeah, our first product that we're going to talk about today is our Anchor Nebula Capsule uh, Projector. Now, this is a really cool, cute, small DLP projector that runs at a resolution of 854 by 480. So not the highest resolution, self-admit, like I'll say that. But uh, it does come with a remote control. Uh, ooh, I've knocked the bottom off my remote here. Um, oh, uh, Big Will, what up, though? How you doing? Thanks for joining the show today. It's good to see you here, man. We just started talking about products in the carousel. Right now, we're talking about the Anchor Nebula Capsule, okay? Now, the Nebula Capsule is a really, really cool uh, pop can-sized projector. And so I'm looking at my, shoot, uh, at my view. Uh, I love the Nebula Capsule projector. It's a really small pop can size projector. It's got a nice rubber foot on the bottom to hold it in place on a st steady surface as well as a tripod mount. Uh, Ryan, what's up? Thank you for joining the show. It's good to see you. <clears throat> right now we're talking about the Anchor Nebula capsule. Now this is the capsule. Today it's available for $300 and has just over uh, 5,600 ratings, giving it a four and a half star review. Yo. <clears throat> <clears throat> Nebula capsule, like I said, runs at a resolution of 854 by 480. Also, it runs with a built-in operating system, Android 7.1, um, and has all the functionality that you need built into the top. It has volume up and down buttons, as well as a power button and a multifunction button. Uh, it also has the Nebula logo in the top that lights up different colors to give different status indications. It has a manual focus knob and it has speakers built into it as well as a battery. So this is all you need. This is all that you need to have a show. Now with the Anchor Nebula Capsule mini pop can sized projector, uh, you get up to four hours of video playback uh, with this projector. I think that's pretty sweet. Um, sours or lemon drops? Yeah, that might be a good one. Do you need a projector screen? I mean, you don't need a projector screen, but obviously shining these on something that is white is going to give you like the best uh, color saturation. I, I believe that is designed for this DLP projector. So like you could, uh, like I got a big camper. I could shine it on the side of the camper. My camper is a little beige, probably not so bad for like, um, for like a, a no screen option, uh, camping one night. But yeah, I mean, they make affordable projector screens that you can get on Amazon. If you click through the carousel today to learn more about the Anchor Nebula capsule, uh, this projector here, absolutely um, scroll down a little bit and you'll see that uh, customers all, may have also bought this item. I guarantee you'll get a recommendation for a really um, affordable, screen that fits any budget because they make some really like budget-minded screens and then they make some really really massive screens 
Uh, they make this screen that is inflatable and it's uh, up to 200 inches. Now, I believe that with the Nebula capsule, uh, I, I don't know, uh, man, I don't want to misinform, but I believe that with this Nebula capsule model, you can get up to a 100 inch screen uh, before it becomes like maybe a little bit difficult to keep any further in focus. OK, uh, but yeah, just like James says, if you get a screen, it will be much more better. Yeah, absolutely. Would a dim lit wood panel wall in a basement work? You can shine this on anything. It's very, very bright. But depending on what the color background is that you're shining on, like a wood panel, uh, it just is going to affect your whites, you know, all your colors, because now you're mixing not white with your colored projection. You understand what I'm trying to say? So um, uh, 40 to 100 inches be best for this. Oh, thank you, James. Yeah. OK, so 40 to 100 inches with the Nebula capsule. Once again, this is available today for three hundred dollars. Um, yeah, wood would mess with it. But like if you're doing something like, you know how people like shine projectors on them for art. So this is a really great thing that you can use for art projects as well. If you want to uh, just project still images or something of the like. OK. And additionally, like I was saying and didn't really cover a lot. This does have an operating system that is Android 7.1 built into it. So you can download apps like YouTube apps and Hulu app, uh, you know, and and. Uh, a plethora of apps, right? Because it has an app store that is fairly robust for video content apps, right? Also, then it does have an HDMI on the back as well as a USB input. And uh, yeah, just a really great compact little capsule. We're going to stop talking about the capsule now because I want to keep talking about other products on today's show. And we're going to move on to another projector, okay? Now, remember this one, the Nebula capsule by Anchor puts out a maximum resolution of 854 by 480, okay? So it does offer you kind of like <clears throat> a little screen door effect. You know what I'm saying? When you got it on the, um, it offers you a little screen door effect when you're, when you're shining it on the wall, when you're projecting it onto the wall. But, uh, you know, you're going to get that really with any DLP projector. And the projector that we're going to talk about next is, is uh, nothing, nothing irregular. It's uh, it's a common occurrence. I got so many boxes on the table today. <clears throat> okay, so now let's keep talking about projectors here. I want to do that with you. And we're going to talk about this other, another uh, Anchor Nebula projector. Now, Anchor is the brand and Nebula is like their video series, I guess, uh, or projector series. The Anchor Nebula, they make a lot of projectors. Okay. Anyway, um, I love this Nebula projector. It's a little bit bigger. It's a little bit bigger. Uh, it also features batteries and speakers in it that are really, really great sounding and fairly long lasting. With, the, with this Nebula, um, with this Nebula projector, which is the Mars Pro, Mars 2 Pro, you're going to get a 720 DLP projection with a battery built in that lasts up to three hours. Okay. You have all the controls that you need on the Mars Pro, excuse me, on the Mars 2 Pro on the top of the projector, as well as a little battery monitoring lights uh, to turn the projector on when we have our safety seal removed. We just open our lens, and opening the lens is what activates the power on the Mars. To Pro, okay. Uh, it has a nice soft grip handle that makes it easy to carry around. This is for outside. You can take this outside and set it up outside. This isn't necessarily something that you want to permanently install in house. So that's what why you have the handle on it. It makes it great for portability. It has a giant rubber booty on the bottom that really holds well on a flat, steady surface. The Mars Two Pro in place okay uh but also on the bottom it does have that tripod mount so you can uh mount this on a tripod to get uh any angle that you need out of it it features auto keystoning and auto focus so when you plug it in and point it where you want to project it it auto keystones and focuses for you so if you're unfamiliar with auto key stoning it is um if you're unfamiliar with key stoning it's just like when we're projecting an image on the wall, you, you want it to be a square. And if it's not a square, then it's some type of trapezoid shape uh, where the top is smaller than the bottom, right? So 
uh, or, or vice versa, vice versa. What the Nebula capsule Mars 2 Pro does is it auto keystones. So uh, even if you have it kind of on an angle and not necessarily pointed straight at the wall, that auto keystoning feature will make it like a perfect square, which is a really great handy, handy feature uh, when, uh, when setting up a projector, because I've had projectors that don't have auto keystone. And sometimes it feels like a nightmare trying to get it set up properly. Um, have a good stream, buddy. Off to get my wife. I was busy today. I did like 30 plus videos. Wow. That's a lot. That is a lot. Congratulations on the great productivity today. Tell your wife I said, hello. Thank you for joining the chat today and helping me knowing about how big the capsule projector, uh, projects it's up to 100 inches and uh yeah come back anytime you like james uh now if you don't know james james is a host over on shopping uh, on dragon blogger tech and entertainment so be sure to head over to dragon blogger tech and entertainment here on amazon follow the shop and subsequently it will follow their live stream and every time they go live you'll have an ability to watch james talking about some amazing phenomenal products <clears throat> EJ Medina, hey, what's up? Been looking forward to this live all day long. Don't. Oh, stop. You're going to make me blush. That's so kind of you to say. I appreciate you, EJ, for coming back today. Have you had an opportunity to see anybody else that is streaming here on Amazon Live? Let me know any other streamer names that you found that are engaging to you. And thank you so much for coming back and joining me here on Clown Live. It's Tuesday, my dude. So we're just doing the show. And we are just wrapping up right now, talking about the Anchor Nebula Mars 2 Pro Outdoor DLP 720p projector. It does have HDMI on the rear, as well as a USB input, also the ability to plug it into the wall and an audio out port. I really like this projector. It is currently the highest resolution projector that I have here um, to talk about. And I'm looking forward to maybe having the ability to review something of an even greater resolution at a later date. The Mars Pro 2 is, like I just said, a 720p projector. So it also does offer a little bit of that kind of screen door effect that uh, DLP projectors uh, can offer you. But once the motion sets in, it really is just kind of like a forethought. I don't really think about it or notice it. I, it has to be a really kind of like still image and I have to be looking for it to really notice the screen door effect with um, with the Mars 2 Pro. Uh, me too. This is my favorite show out of any show I've ever seen. Okay, Big Will, thank you. Calm down, Big Will. <laughs> Have you used it? <clears throat> yeah, I've used the uh, the Mars 2 Pro. I use it. I used it in the bedroom. We set it up in the bedroom here. And uh, we watched Walk Hard, the Dewey Cox story. I love that movie. It's one of my absolute favorite movies. And uh, yeah, it was a great movie. And it looked great on the Mars 2 Pro. So uh, if you're looking to scoop up a nice outdoor projector, today you can get this one, the Mars 2 Pro by, uh, by Anchor for $400. And this is 27% off. Regularly, this is a $550 uh, projector. So heads up on a great deal, uh, $400 today. Boom. Does the projector have a ceiling mount? Um, no, the, well, the projector, the projector doesn't have a ceiling mount. As soon as you said that, like I instantly thought that it would be like, uh, like a shelving unit that you'd slide it into a shelf. Uh, no, it, it, like I didn't No, no. And then does this answer your question? It does have on the bottom, the ability to mount it to a tripod so i mean i don't know if i one thing that i'm uncertain of is if you can mount the mars 2 pro upside down i don't know if you can mount the mars 2 pro upside down if you could if you were able then yeah i don't see why not right here like this right if you got if you have it screwed into the mount and you have it mount and you have your mount on the ceiling then yes but when you said mount initially I thought about it being upright and like on a shelf. Uh, the Mars 2 Pro, absolutely, you can use it indoors, but it is also one that is designed for outdoors. So it does have the battery in it that lasts for up to three hours and a set of speakers in it that they sound pretty good. When I watched Dewey Cox, we listened to it through uh, the projector speakers and it wasn't too bad. 
It wasn't too bad. Uh, walk, walk, like walking down the street. I have a friend who walks a mile a day, uh, like walking, walk, <laughs> not rock hard. <laughs> what are you saying? <laughs> um, EJ says, so we are saying we don't know if we can flip the image, if we can hang it outside. Uh, Big Will says, well, wouldn't the picture be upside down? Uh, yeah, well, the thing about some, I, I, I'm sorry that we're speaking. I don't want to misinform you. I just simply don't know. So to speculate, I'm going to say, no, you can't mount it upside down. But there's no reason that you couldn't determine some other way to mount it with this tripod mount. I'm trying to rack my brain and think quickly of other ways to mount this outside. Uh, I truly think that the best way would be on a tripod if you had one. Um, but I don't know what your personal setup is. Everybody's setup can be different. So, yeah, I don't know. I, I'm uncertain if with the Mars 2 Pro you can invert it. I, I can't speculate yes. I'm sorry that I can't uh, speculate yes or no on that. But but uh, it did light up the entire room in the back here once again. The uh, the room behind the behind the flag is the bedroom, and there's no lights and no windows in there. And when we hooked up the uh, the Mars Two Pro and watched Dewey Cox, it filled the entire room with light, and I literally felt like I was at a movie theater. That's how bright the image was from the 720p DLP projector. You could just hang it in a tree. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I I wouldn't recommend hanging it in a tree. But uh, whatever way you get it mounted, you can be rest assured that with it, its auto keystone feature, you're absolutely going to have the best image that the Mars 2 Pro is capable of projecting. Once again, the Mars 2 Pro is available today. Hey, Coach Mike, what's up? I see you. I'm live, but wanted to pop in and see and uh, excuse me. Wanted to pop into some other streams and say, hey, hey, what's up? I've been lurking on you, man. I've been watching you a little bit. I haven't been spending as much time on Amazon Live lately. I've been kind of like creating content for it. So that's been taking up some of my time. And then also, unlike you, Coach Mike, who is extremely, extremely motivated, uh, I find myself enjoying all of the downtime that I can bring into my life. So, so uh, yeah, I see you're always working really hard. I always try to watch a little bit, even if I don't say hello. I'm usually trying to be there checking you out, man. So, uh, yeah, Coach Mike, be certain if you're so inclined to put your link in the chat. And if you're watching Clown Live here right now with me, absolutely go and follow Coach Mike. He is on the road to 2,000 followers. I don't know what his follower count is now. I haven't heard um, about it in a few weeks. But hopefully he's climbing to 2,000 as fast as he can. We kind of hit like a little stagnant area uh, with followers recently. We've just kind of been floating around 2860, 2860, like give or take five, give or take five. You know what I'm saying? So we're going up and down uh, within that little 10 follower kind of lurch. And uh, I'm really excited to reach the goal of 3000 followers. So if you're currently watching Clown Live and you're not following, please feel compelled to hit that follow button. It really, really helps our metrics here on Amazon Live, okay? So uh, yeah, Big Will, thank you so much for hitting follow. I really, really appreciate you. If there's anything that you see here in the carousel that you'd like to talk about, if you're on your phone, you can just scroll through the carousel and let me know what you wanna see uh, and I can highlight it and we'll talk about it. If there's anything on Amazon at all that you wanna talk about, let me know, we can talk about that. If there's anything, that you'd like to have a conversation about. I love the engagement in the chat. So please pipe up and let me know what's on your mind. And with that invite to social engagement, let's carry on talking about products here um, on, on our show Clown Live. Okay. So the next product we're going to get into then is going to be the EF EcoFlow. Uh, River 2, not Max. I got so many products today on the table that it was it was kind of crazy getting them all into the shot um, okay let's put this here and then we'll set this down let me grab a couple cables really quickly i want these two okay <clears throat> all right <clears throat> pardon me let's drink a little water here <clears throat> 
and let's carry on. Okay, this is the EcoFlow River 2 Max Portable Power Station. This is a 256 watt hour battery that offers LifePo 4 batteries. I'm pretty sure they're LifePo 4 batteries. Um, so that's great. Lithium phosphate batteries are much better than traditional lead acid batteries. They last a lot longer. With the EF EcoFlow River 2, you can drain this and charge it up to 3,000 times before noticing any issues with your batteries. Uh, that means that you could charge it and discharge it once a day, every day for almost 10 years and not have any issues with the EF EcoFlow River 2. 256 watt hour portable charging station this battery is dope okay because it has a grounded plug on it and a non-grounded plug that you can toggle by pressing this button to turn it on I don't, I don't know if mine's off or dead it was off it was off so when we want power here we just press the button to bring power to the circuit maybe i have to have some oh my battery's dead my battery's dead look my battery's dead currently i have zero percent in my battery and one hour of power remaining um, on my battery from any current draw, which is zero. The two stack numbers are going to be your charging watts going into the EcoFlow, as well as your wattage out on the bottom number, okay? From a zero charged position to 100% takes less than one hour with uh, when plugged into the wall. The River 2 does come with a plug to plug it into the wall. Very simple, three-prong plug, super easy to use. And then also it comes with a DC cable, so you can plug it into your vehicle's auxiliary power outlet or a generator, wherever you need to get power from. And then you can plug that into your River 2, and this will charge from your vehicle in about four hours. And EcoFlow offers a 110 volt solar panel that you can add to your cart today when you click through the carousel and add the River 2 to your cart as well. All right, because um, the panels are dope. It makes it a completely self sufficient unit. And, uh, and with those 110 volt solar panels, you can charge from zero to 100% on a sunny day with great solar efficiency in about four hours. In about four hours. Big Will says, Big Will says, yeah, I need that. How long does one charge last? How long will a single charge last? Really cool. Um, a single charge on the EcoFlow River 2, we'll just call it River 2. On the River 2, the battery lasts like as long as you need it to. I, I had my laptop. This is a 256 watt hour battery, right? So if you don't, uh, if you may not know about electricity, 256 watt hours basically uh, is the max. It does have a boost mode, but you got to control that through the app, which is downloadable for free on Google and iOS platforms. But what I was saying a moment ago is that with a 256 watt hour battery, just imagine you had a computer, for example, a very simple device. Say you had a computer that drew 100 watts constantly. When you plug your computer into this battery that has 256 watt hours of power, you're going to get about two and a half hours of power to power that 100 watt device. You follow what I'm saying? Um, I plugged my laptop into it to give it a test a little while ago, and my laptop at maximum was drawing 80 uh, watts and then kind of calmed down and settled around 50 or 60 watts at any given time. And I had my laptop with a portable monitor plugged into it, powered by the River 2 for just around four hours. I, I powered my laptop and then the battery completely died. Uh, and then I had to kick over to my laptop's battery power, which still gave me like a couple hours. Uh, you know, we got some LED lights that we frequently show here. Uh, we got some LED lights that we frequently show here on, on uh, Clown Live. And, and those Govi Outdoor Smart String Lights, they're like 96 RGB, excuse me, it's 96 feet of cable with 30 lights on it, uh, 30 RGB LEDs. And when I plug that 96 feet of cable into this uh, River 2, I can get on a full charge 12 hours, 12 hours of power on, on my Govi lights. So uh, that's pretty cool. Um, it has great overload protection, and this is a really, really solid unit. You know, if you click through the carousel uh, and navigate to the EcoFlow um, 
uh, I don't know where that, I don't know if they host the video on Amazon, but definitely on, on another very popular platform, EcoFlow hosts this video where they show the durability of the river too by kicking it down stairs, freezing it into a block of ice, dragging it behind a truck, um, and a few other, and lighting it on fire with these massive blow torches and uh, really, really putting the exterior of the River Tooth uh, through its paces. And it just stood up to every single test that, that the company put it through. So a really highly durable. These are great for camping. Okay, it's very, very light. Look, I'm holding it with a pinky finger today. It's very, very lightweight and uh, super durable, like we were just saying. These, like I said, let me repeat myself. <clears throat> they're good for camping. They're good for emergency situations. If you just need a little bit of light, you're going to be able to charge a cell phone on this a few times. Um, yeah. So uh, Paula Dawson, hey, thank you so much for following. I noticed you followed a little over a minute ago. I'm just so excited to talk about the River 2. I didn't get the opportunity to um, um, greet you. So thank you, Paula. If you're still here, Paula Dawson, I appreciate you. We are just wrapping up right now. Talking about how awesome the EF EcoFlow River 2 portable power station truly is. With 256 watt hours of portable power, uh, you're going to be really satisfied. Now, today, there's a huge deal on this, making the River 2 38% off of its average retail value of $320. Today, you can get it for $199. There's not even cents after that. So, sub $200 today for a River 2. Uh, here it is, a River 2, $199 today, okay? I love the River 2. I can't wait to get outside with the camper and put it through Put it through a, a few more paces. All right, now let's keep talking about amazing products here on Clown Live, and we're going to move on to the Amazon Fire Tablet. Uh, it's the HD Fire Tablet, as a matter of fact. Okay, so this is the Amazon Fire. This is the Amazon Fire HD 10 tablet. This is a really great tablet. If uh, if you're like uh, looking for a really great deal on a tablet, this is it. This is it. Today it's available for $150, but extremely often, extremely often these go on sale for 50% off. So keep your uh, eyes open for that great deal. Today at $150, don't pay full price for this product. I got to tell you, like, honestly, when we're talking about deals, the Amazon Fire HD 10 tablet is often available for 50% off. The HD 10, uh, the F HD, uh, excuse me, let me say it again. The Amazon Fire HD 10 tablet is different from its pro model, where the pro model has an additional gigabyte of RAM and a metal back. The Amazon Fire HD 10 tablet that we're looking at today has three gigs of RAM and a plastic back. It features a 10.1 inch screen. It has a camera. Uh, it has a camera on the front as well as a camera on the back. I don't know why I'm holding it like that. Has a camera on the front. Has a camera on the back. All of its buttons are located on the top. It doesn't have any buttons or any I/O on the on the uh, other sides. It just clips in nice. Uh, we got this for Mima uh, in October during Prime Early Access deals, and it was awesome. We got it for 50% off. We paid $75 for the Amazon Fire HD 10 tablet. So absolutely, I encourage you to put this in your cart, but totally wait until it goes on deal, okay? The Fire HD 10 tablet is available today for $150. And um, excuse me, it has a four and a half star rating with 104,000 reviews, over 104,000 reviews. Uh, yeah, so wait until it goes on sale. I'm waiting. They were on, they were on like 40% deal the last time that they were on sale a couple weeks ago, and uh, and I didn't, um, and I didn't get one. I should have got one then, but I know that they'll go on 50% off. And I already got one, so I'm not missing what I don't, what I, I'm not missing it, right? I already got one. Uh, so yeah, so that's where I'm at with that. When they go on sale again, absolutely, I'm going to scoop up another one of these. Oh, D 
Dixie, thank you so much for coming out and watching the show with us today. I hope that you're having a wonderful evening. I appreciate you popping by. Um, and uh, what's up? What's up? I hope that you're doing well. Okay, so yeah, the Amazon Fire HD10 tablet is available today for $150. Okay, let's talk about the fire stick now. I got this real quick, just the box. <clears throat> I got the fire TV stick 4K now because uh, only box because I got it plugged into the TV. Um, let's switch over to the let's switch over to this. Uh, let's do this. What's going on here? Give me a quick second. Why is the software not open? I had that software open. There we go. Oh, I definitely didn't hit resume. Pop up. Hello. Just hit a few wrong keyboard shortcuts there. Put the camera to sleep. It's certainly groggy waking up. But uh, this is the shot that I want. This is the shot that I want because we are talking about the Fire Stick, uh, the Fire TV Stick 4K. I've got the box right here. You get the Fire Stick in the box as well as the remote control. You also get a dongle that uh, you can plug into your HDMI port because the Fire TV stick is actually a little bit wide. And if you have some close together HDMI ports, then um, the, the Fire TV stick may, may take up valuable real estate on those HDMI ports and adjacent ports and prevent you from being able to plug anything in. So there is a little dongle that you can plug in and then plug the, uh, the Fire TV stick into. Okay, this is the front of the Fire TV stick. Uh, you can download a bunch of different apps for it. I've got Pluto TV and Tubi TV. These are apps where you can get free content to watch, such as live streaming videos or movies and TV shows. Also, you can get YouTube apps or you can get the CBC Gem app. Now, I'm in Canada, so I don't think in America you can get CBC Gem. But CBC Gem is a great little uh, streaming app that Canada CBC offers people. And uh, you can pay for no ads. You get like this hour has 22 minutes, a classic political Canadian comedy news show uh, and all kinds of all kinds of content, uh, all kinds of content. Uh, with CBC Gem app. So you can download a lot of apps that are available in the app store. And then also there is an app called Downloader, which allows you to navigate to um, un, like unauthorized APKs. So if you can't find the app in the app store uh, on the TV stick, then you can still just navigate to a website that has that APK, download it and install it very, very easily. Uh, the, the Fire TV stick doesn't try to hold you back from installing anything on it. Now, uh, we had a long conversation the last time that we talked about the Fire TV Stick about installing Kodi, about installing Kodi on the Fire Stick. And uh, <clears throat> I'm all for it. If you like Kodi, I'm all for it. We were talking about Xboxes and stuff. I could get sidetracked with that all day, but I'm, I'm not going to do that now. I'm not going to do that now. Does it come with Wi-Fi 6? You know, that's a great question that off the top of my head, I don't know the answer to. So let me take a look by clicking through my carousel and seeing if it is Wi-Fi 6 compatible. Oh, there's a whole chart. There's a whole chart. Okay, um, Fire TV Stick 4K today uh, from $50 is Wi-Fi 5 compatible. The Fire TV Stick 4K is Wi-Fi 5 compatible and has an internal 8 gigabyte storage capacity as well as a gigabyte and a half of uh, memory. Um, okay, audio support Dolby Atmos, quad-core CPU 1.7 hertz. 1.7 gigahertz with a 650 megahertz GPU. Hey, what's up, June? Thanks for popping out, man. It's good to see you. Appreciate you coming out here. Much clown love. Whoop, whoop. I hope you're doing great. I hope you can stick around for a little bit. Right now, we're just talking about the Fire TV Stick 4K. And uh, Dixie in the chat is wondering if 
the stick is capable of being certified for Wi-Fi 6. It is not. It is not. It's Wi-Fi 5, okay? But as I take a look here, I see that the Fire TV Stick 4K Max, which looks like it's only maybe 5 or $10 more, does support Wi-Fi 6. So I'm just taking a look at a at a little um, grid here, uh, that, a little chart that is located directly on the um, uh, directly on the page, directly on the page. When you click through the carousel, you can get this information yourself. I'm very happy to give it to you. That certainly wasn't the implication. But if you'd like to know more, I'd love to tell you. And also, you can click through the carousel, scroll down a little bit. You can see what I see. They're just comparing Fire Stick, uh, Fire TV Stick Lite to the Fire TV Stick. Fire TV Stick 4K, Fire TV Stick 4K Max, okay? That's where Wi-Fi 6 compatibility starts coming in. And then that's like the that's like the, the best stick, most expensive, most feature given stick. But then for almost for double the cost, you can get the Fire TV Cube. I'm quite interested in the Fire TV Cube, okay? Ultimate 4K streaming with hands-free voice control, supports 1080p. Well, of course. Supports 4K, picture in picture, Alexa, control your devices with your Fire Cube. Fire Cube. I'm just looking at Fire Cube. And uh, yeah, Wi Fi 6E plus Ethernet port. I really want to get that Fire Cube for that Ethernet port. 16 gigs of storage, 2 gigs of RAM. Pretty cool, man. Pretty cool. Octa Core, 4 times 2.2 gigahertz with an 800 megahertz GPU. I really want to get my hands on one of those fire cubes. Now I know that there are other things that do other things. I would love to actually get like a, a, a little mini computer that has a similar uh, size uh, footprint as the fire cube um, that has like a few monitors out. I'd like to have the, I'd like to have the TV here and then I'd like to have two monitors stacked on top of it. Or I would like to have two monitors in portrait mode, one on each side. I just think it would look super baller. And uh, yeah, so I, I want like maybe a little, a little, um, like a little mini PC or something to do something like that. But when it's just single monitor viewing, the Fire TV Stick is an excellent option. I haven't had any major issues with my Wi-Fi or any major connection problems. Now, one thing that I have been experiencing is that I have my Fire TV Stick plugged into my 1080p port and i never uh i never swapped it out to my to my 4k port so i should really do that just swap it out uh and keep in mind that the tv stick does come with a little usb cable and an adapter to give it power so uh you do plug it in all right the fire tv stick is also another great great device that you can own today it is available for 50 dollars now because this is one of those amazon products it does go on sale fairly often so I absolutely again like the Amazon tablet. I can't recommend I can't recommend paying full price when we are a show about deals, right? Uh, but absolutely if you're looking for a Fire Stick 4K uh, and you need it now, you can get one today for $50 and this has a four and a half star review with just over 200 and just under 215,000 reviews. So a really really popular device there. Um, yeah, no problem, Dixie. You're very welcome three minutes ago. Okay, now let's move on to the Logitech Lytra Glow. Let's bring our other camera back into view. Uh, yes. All right, let's talk about the Logitech Lytra Glow. We'll just move really quickly through this one. And uh, here it is. Here it is. Here it is. This is the Logitech Lytra Glow, okay? It, it, this will catch up. This will catch up. I know it's a little bit pixelated now, but it'll catch up. And really, this is the focus here. So, yeah, I feel like it's kind of catching up. Okay. Okay. This is the Logitech Lytra Glow. It's a really nice little key light that you can scoop up today for $55. Has a four and a half star rating with just under 1,300 reviews. And uh, this is 8% off. So traditionally 60 bucks. So you can save about $5 today if you buy the Logitech Lytra Glow. What is it? It is a great key light that has a bezel-less design uh, that has five different light intensity settings um, and five different color grades. So you can go from a very bright bluish kind of white light 
down to a very warm, soft yellow light. There's five stages to that. And then five different intensities included with the key light. It has this really, really big, uh, like, um, monitor mount. It, it stretches way out uh, if you want to put it on a big monitor. And then also it does push in if you need to put it on a smaller monitor. Uh, once you get it into place, it has a little booty here to grab onto the back of where it's touching. Uh, you can, you can once, it, once it's in place, you can extend it, okay? So it does extend, um, I guess it does extend. Now, one other feature about this is that you can unscrew it from the base and it and it is a tripod connection, uh, like a quarter inch. So I like that very much as well. Uh, this is USB-C powered and it's not battery powered. So you do always have to be supplying your own power to it. This is very small, very light, fits in the palm of my hand, super bright uh, on its brightest light settings. And uh, the colors are enough variation that you can see them when you press the button. The Hey, what's up, Joanna? Um, the Logitech Lytra Glow is available today, like I said, for $55. Pretty, pretty nice little light. I like that I can put this like onto like a camera mount and uh, still, again, run battery to it. But a uh, simple USB connection and a tripod mount. This is great for cameras too, not just key light for your, for your, um, for your monitor. Not just a good key light for your monitor. Okay. Uh, also, it comes obviously with its own USB to USB-C cable. Okay. All right. Let's put this one away. I know I kind of put it away a little sloppily there. And let's talk about the KYY monitor next. <laughs> All right. So this is going to be, let's pull this back a little bit here. There we go. Okay, so this is the KYY portable monitor that you can own today for a great price of $150. Now, this is 32% off. Regular, the KYY uh, monitor is available for $220, but it's available for $150 today. So for $150, what do you get? Well, you get a, what? what is this? This is the, oh, this is the, um, this shadow is the OBS bar. The shadow is the obs button. I might, I might adjust my light. Okay, uh, we put, we've been putting the lights further back because I feel that the boxes and everything that have white on them get really, really washed out. Uh, so yeah, so I guess I kind of do have a little bit of an obs bot shadow on me that I'm noticing. Now, as I talk about the KYY monitor, which is priced at $150 today, and what I was saying was that for $150, this is what you get. You get the monitor itself. It's super extremely light. It comes in this protective case opens this way comes in this protective case uh okay and the case is cool because it also has the ability to turn into a uh like a, a stand it turns into a stand and it does it with magnets so when we open when we open the cover okay when we open the cover we can fold the piece over and then it adheres to itself with magnets and creates a a, a ridge here and with that ridge we can just put the monitor in it and then that's how it stands. The KYY monitor is a 1080p resolution monitor and it's 15.6 inches, which matches the standard size of a lot of laptops. It features two USB, uh, two USB-C and one HDMI mini input. So you can have three different inputs on this monitor. The monitor does have one watt speakers built into it. So you can play audio through these. It is recognized as an audio device when you plug it into your computer. I get video and power over one single USB-C port here. It's amazing how that one cable solution to my workstation. Now on the other side, there is a, uh, there is a power button, an audio out port, as well as a rocker switch to navigate on-screen display and control volume uh, of the speakers that are built in. I love this thing. It's really, really sweet. I just wish that I had a, um, I just wish that I had a, uh, like a tablet grip that has a VESA mount on it so that I could put it on the desk on a VESA. But uh, other than that, I'm super, super satisfied with it. And uh, I, uh, they do make them in higher resolutions. They make 4K. Uh, my headset just died. Well, is it battery operated or did it just stop functioning? Maybe you can't even hear me saying that. 
but yeah, so I love the KYY 1080p 15.6 inch monitor. It comes with a US, it comes with the HDMI to mini HDMI cable, as well as a dual USB C cable to plug it into whatever you need it to, like uh, so that you can put any source into it. So this is good for PlayStations and Xboxes if you want to take a little gaming monitor on the go. It's ultra light, it's wicked thin. And uh, yeah, it's ultra portable. It's ultra portable. If you're looking for something that has a higher resolution, then click through the carousel today and navigate to the KYY store because they absolutely do have some uh, some high quality high quality monitors. They have some high resolution panels that you can pick up for a different price than the very very budget friendly one hundred and fifty dollars today uh, for this one for the, for the 1080p version. Okay. Now this is the black version as well. I got the gray pad on it, but it is a, uh, it is the black monitor. Okay. So very, very cool. Very, very cool monitor. I love my portable monitor. Um, I've got a more permanent setup. I've got like a more permanent setup. Um, so I kind of disconnected the monitor. I had I had this monitor hooked up to the laptop and then uh, uh, two other large monitors and I just wasn't putting anything on this and it was just sitting on and open. So to extend, I don't know, like uh, to extend its life, I'm just not using it as often as I was. Uh, but I recognize the extreme value in having this extremely light portable monitor and my laptop and being able to go out and do whatever I need uh, portably, mobily, you know what I'm saying? Okay, once again, as I'm walking away, I just want to say, I guess for the 10th time, this monitor is available for $150 today. Okay, let's put it in front of it. Okay. I got a lot of stuff on the table today. Ooh, Obsbot next. Ooh, Obsbot's on a good deal. All right. Okay, let's talk about the uh, uh, the Obsbot Tiny 4K resolution PTZ webcam. This is it pictured here on this box. The base is the gimbal. Uh, the base is the base, and then on top of the base is the gimbal that goes to its 4K resolution sensor. Now, this is what I'm talking about here, okay? We've got our base and then our gimbal here uh to our to our lens now we know that we're looking at the 4k version because it does have a red ring it's obviously marked 4k on the box but out of the box we know that we're looking at the 4k model because it has this red ring around the outer circumference of the lens the obsbot 4k tiny uh the obsbot tiny ptz 4k resolution camera is available today on an insane deal that is already 52 percent claimed it's 15 percent off today uh regularly the obsbot tiny 4k is going to be 270 okay you can save basically uh looks like 50 bucks today it's 230 today 230 today um 40 bucks sorry i'm an idiot uh okay so uh 15 percent off making it 228 i'm broadcasting the show to you from the obsbot right now let's full screen the camera Boom. Okay. So this is the OBSBOT. What's great about the OBSBOT is it just, it does have these gesture capabilities. So if you hold up your hand like this, the camera will follow you or not follow you. Now, clearly it was following me a moment ago. I toggled it off. So I just hold my hand up like I'm waving. The OBSBOT recognizes the gesture. It has lights on the front of the camera to let you know that it has successfully recognized the gesture. And then also you can uh, zoom. Now, I've been having some problems with zoom. We'll see if we can get it to work today. There we go. So out of the box, the Obsbot Tiny 4K will zoom up to two times digitally when you hook it up to your computer for the first time and do a firmware upgrade and download the Obsbot software. Uh, you will be able to change the default from two times to four times uh, digital uh, um, digital zoom, digital zoom. So you can toggle that zoom by holding an L shape next to your finger. It zooms in and out. It's super, super cool. It's ultra handy to have the camera follow me around the room when I need it to. I don't need to, um, I don't need to, um, uh, I looked at Joanna's message and then my brain kind of went on a different track. Uh, oh, I don't need to have a cameraman. I don't need to have a cameraman. This camera follows me around the room. It's super, super great. 
and uh, and it zooms in on what I need it to. It, you can have keyboard shortcuts that control different presets where you want the camera to go. Here's a random preset. Okay, <laughs> that's the that that used that's the table shot. Remember when we used to have the camera come and zoom in on the table? That's what that shot is. And then uh, yeah, so we can have a couple of different preset. Uh, we can have a couple of different presets on our camera here. Let's switch back to our OBSBOT software and we set our camera. Beautiful. So yeah, so the OBSBOT is available today for 15% off, making it $228. This deal is already 52% claimed. If you're looking to get the OBSBOT, maybe don't sleep on this opportunity. Uh, it also comes with a great case that is vacuum formed to hold the gimbal in place during uh, transportation. All right, now let's cut back again to our other camera and let's see, what are we talking about next? Sorry, Ofuzi. All right. Okay, so this is the Ofuzi handheld cordless vacuum. It's pretty cool. It has a 120 milliliter dust bin that you can access by unlocking it. Okay, it's got a little plastic lock here. We unlock it and then we press a button to pop our lid open and then we can dump our dirt out. There is a little bit of dirt in here so I won't dump it into my hand. Uh, we can close this and then lock it again. And when it comes time to clean or replace the filter inside, we just un unlock it and pull it out. Very, very easy. This is the overall size of the vacuum on its own. It comes with an eco mode as well as a full mode. Check this out, vacuum on. Okay. So it moves a little bit of air, it moves a little air. And then it has the max mode. And that's moving a lot more air. So it's, it's not a hair dryer, obviously it's, um, it's for, it's a vacuum, it's a vacuum. It's for sucking up dirt and stuff. But uh, I just wanna show you how much air it moves. It charges via USB-C on the bottom here. I love that USB-C is becoming the standard on everything. Makes it really, really easy to plug everything in. Uh, okay, now also with the Ofuzi H8 Apex cordless handheld vacuum, you're gonna get a nice cinch sack to keep the Ofuzi in, as well as a few accessories inside this bag. Now, the accessories that come in the bag are going to be a hard plastic extension, a little plastic brush uh, that plugs into your extension, as well as a pet hair agitator. And then I, I never learned what the one with the belt with the like soft stuff on it is, but it does slide out like this. And then, uh, yeah, it has like the black belt on it, so you can... Like, I, I just assume that I can drag this across my, my hard desk without scratching it. That's what I assume that piece was. Okay, but really easy to slide back into the pet hair piece, interchange with your extension. And then, uh, yeah, Ofuzi, Ofuzi, cinch sack, extension, same treatment, as well as this boy here. Give a little shake in, and then we cinch it shut. You can tie it shut if you want to. I find that the cinch holds, you know, not that great. So you kind of want to tie it if you're into that. But this is great to have everything you need. You can put this in your car or in your camper. You can keep this in the house. We use this to get um, uh, cobwebs out from the corners. And with the extension, it makes it really easy to reach to spots that we normally don't. Now, what else is great about the Ofuzi cinch sack is that it does have the model number, eight, uh, the H8 Apex. So you'll never, never be confused what bag you're looking at, okay, with Ofuzi. Uh, travel safe home, Joanna. Don't smash into anything or hit anybody. The Ofuzi H8 Apex cordless vacuum is available today for $80. This is 20% off of its regular $100 MSRP. It has four and a half star rating with 629 reviews. Uh, I know Mima loves this. We got a similar one with Fantic. Uh, we've been using them both equally. And uh, yeah, they're both great. The H8 Apex is a wonderful, wonderful handheld cordless vacuum. What's the next board? Bluetooth and docking station. Okay. What I say? Oh, Bluetooth and docking station. Okay, so this is the 
pluggable Bluetooth docking. Uh, this is the pluggable uh, Bluetooth adapter. This is a pluggable Bluetooth 5 adapter. And the uh, this pluggable Bluetooth 5 adapter supports Bluetooth Classic and Bluetooth Low Energy. And when used with Bluetooth 5 devices, the range of the adapter can re reach up to 40 meters indoors compared to the 10 meter range of previous Bluetooth standards. This is a USB 2.0 interface that offers you a Bluetooth version of 5.0, and this is good for Windows operating systems. Now, I'm just showing you the box right now, but I do, in fact, have mine uh, plugged into the back of my computer uh, into my pluggable docking station, which we're going to take a look at momentarily. So, yeah, just real quick, because this is an easier physical object to show. Ah, oh, shoot. Gosh darn it, I dropped my little thing on the floor. Give me a second. I need it. All right, I got it here. Uh, yeah, so I've done this before, and I'm going to do it again. What I'm showing you is not the dongle, okay? But they are identical. They are identical. It's just going to be a little USB uh, 2.0 uh, dongle here, very small. This is what the one looks like, but this is not. This is not it, okay? Um, and yeah, so this is actually the radio receiver for my for my keyboard for my Logitech keyboard. But they're identical. They're identical pieces of hardware. Okay, uh, just one is uh, for the keyboard, and one is a Bluetooth radio. Okay, so the pluggable Bluetooth USB adapter is available today for thirteen dollars. And now let's take a look at our pluggable dual monitor docking station. Here's the box for the docking station. And uh, let's just grab the camera and, uh, I mean, it's so hidden. It's so hidden. Okay, today we're going to get away with just showing the box only. It's kind of like hidden very well good. Uh, I guess this is actually pretty open. Okay. You know, we're doing the show and anything worth doing is worth doing right. Okay. So let's uh, mind our mind our napkins. We're cleaning some monitors off. Okay, here it is. Here, here's our here's our pluggable dual monitor docking station. On the front side of it, it has two USB 3.0 ports as well as a headphone and microphone port on the front of it. Okay. Now on the rear of it. Now that we showed the product. Now that we showed it. Let's go back to the box here real quick. That's not so bad. Okay, so so here's the box then. So here's the box. So the pluggable dual monitor docking station is pretty sweet. On the box, we can see the rear of the device. And on the rear of the pluggable docking station, which is the USB 3.0 dual monitor docking station, because pluggable makes a couple of different docking stations, okay? So I just wanted to be specific with which one we're talking about now. Uh, like I said, on the back, you can see that you have four USB 2.0 ports, an Ethernet port, a DVI out, an HDMI out, a display cable to plug it into your laptop as well at, or your computer, um, uh, as well as a power port to power the device. I love my docking station. In the box, you do get the display link cable, uh, the display port cable, excuse me, as well as as well as a DVI to HDMI adapter, as well as a um, uh, DVI to HDMI adapter. So you can pretty much plug in anything that you need to into that dual monitor docking station. I've been using it, it's pretty good. I've had a couple of like small issues with it, but they're like very specific issues regarding overscan on old televisions. So uh, I just eliminated my big TV from my from my docking station and just plugged it directly into the HDMI out on the laptop and I've had no problems since with it. The pluggable, uh, what kind of Bluetooth? What kind of Bluetooth? The Bluetooth, the Bluetooth connection, the Bluetooth adapter that we just looked at uh, previously here, it was Bluetooth 5. Now it doesn't say 5.3 uh, on the box. It doesn't say 5.3 on the box. Let's re-highlight it real quickly here. And uh, let me navigate to the product page and see. Because uh, I don't want to say that you're incorrect. I just know that when I look at the box, it tells me Bluetooth 5.0. And it says that Bluetooth 5.0 like right in the top line of the description of the, of, the, of the product page when I clicked through the carousel just now. So, yeah. So it is a Bluetooth adapter for PC. It is Bluetooth 5.0 dongle compatible with Windows. Uh, you can add seven devices, I guess. I never knew that fact. 
headphones, speakers, keyboard, mouse, printer, and more. $13 today for the little Bluetooth dongle. I plugged it in, worked great, and I've been using it ever since. I never really did like uh, Bluetooth experiments with the Bluetooth radio that's built into my laptop. Maybe I should check that out. But since I got the dongle, I've been using it and not not using it, and it's been great. Once I pair my devices up to it, whenever I turn them on, I can manually or automatically connect to the PC. It's It's really great, it's really great. Uh, and I can leave the laptop in the front of the house and go to the back of the house and it doesn't have too much stutter. Now that oh, that outdoor thing is because it's an open line of like communication. There's no like walls or anything blocking it. That's why they say outdoor. The one I got is 5.3. Well, I totally encourage anybody to click through the carousel and navigate to the pluggable store and be certain to do their due diligence in obtaining uh, the Bluetooth um, adapter that is right for them. So I don't know a lot about different Bluetooth standards, but uh, this particular one is Bluetooth 5.0. All right, so let's highlight the pluggable again and wrap up with four with four and a half stars and over eleven thousand reviews. The pluggable USB 3.0 to dual monitor docking station. It's available today for one hundred and nineteen dollars, and that is twenty percent off of its regular. $165 MSRP. So save 28% today when you get the USB 3 dual monitor docking station by Pluggable. All right, let's talk about our little trivet block now. We got the two speakers. Okay, this is the Tribit Stormbox Blast, and it's available today for $199, and that's 23% off of its regular 23%. Uh, excuse me, let me say that again. The Tribit Stormbox Blast is available today for $200, and that is 23% off of its regular MSRP of $260, okay? Now let me do the thing where I actually click through my carousel again, because the last time we talked deals on Tribit, it was uh last time we talked deals on Tribit, it was also a coupon. It was also a coupon. So let me click through my carousel here and see $40 coupon, y'all. Okay, so check it out. The Tribit Stormbox Blast is a portable 90 watt Bluetooth speaker that is available today for $200 with a $40 off coupon. Let me repeat myself, okay? This is a 90 watt. Bluetooth speaker. It's IP67 water resistant and buoyant. So if you knock it into the pool, it's going to flow, which is really great. It's super loud. It has loudspeakers that are on uh, in the front that drive these massive passive bass radiating speakers on the side. It has the ability to toggle that extra bass mode if you want. Uh, this is heavy. This is a heavy unit, okay? It offers up to 30 hours of audio playback. I think that that is also pretty phenomenal. And on the back of it, on the back of it, uh, you can open this case, uh, this little, um, uh, uh, the grommet, I guess a grommet. You can open this grommet and you can reveal the ability to charge as well as charge out, as well as a three and a half millimeter headphone jack in so uh, that you can... Uh, put audio in. If you don't connect to it with Bluetooth, then it's a three and a half millimeter auxiliary input. And that's really cool. So you can charge, charge out and auxiliary in with this. It's not just Bluetooth capable. Uh, I like this a lot. You can connect to it with the Trivet app. Okay. You can connect to it with the Trivet app and modify the way that it sounds with its built-in equalizer. Not the best equalizer, I'd say. And um, what else? Trivet app. Oh, you can control the different light modes. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. The Trivet Stormbox Blast is amazing. We talk about a lot of portable Bluetooth speakers here uh, on, on Amazon, especially uh, I, I've got a few different Bluetooth speakers that I love talking about. And when it comes to, when it comes to, if I had to pay Trivet Stormbox Blast, versus i'd say like soundcore rave neo 2 i'm taking the stormbox blast now the rave neo 2 it's going to be lighter even though it's still a powered driver and, and has a handle on it 
Uh, this is just 10 watts louder, but it you can really, really feel it. And uh, the 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 beat driven light show is unmatched on the on the on the sound cord product. But the Tribit is all right. Tribit's all right. Tribit could use an update to its app to allow more uh, light control uh, with it. Uh, like I said, it's available today for two hundred dollars with a forty dollar off coupon. So basically, one sixty today. That's a super super good look. Um, okay. Uh, 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 for one hundred and sixty dollars, the Tribit Stormbox Blast certainly is not a deal to be slept on. Uh, I like that. I like that deal. Really good deal. This is a really, really loud speaker. Currently, this is the speaker that I'm using with my laptop uh, as my everyday like computer speaker because it just sounds so good. Uh, it's a little bit cumbersome, but I got a fairly large desk, so I've been dealing with it. I'm looking for some good PC speakers, but I realize that I don't necessarily need them. Uh, I feel like if I had PC speakers, they would have to be like, I don't know, mounted on something. I wouldn't want them to just sit on the desk. I like having like the monitor stand. So I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, the Trippet Stormbox Blast, like I said, is available today for $200. This has 30 hours of playback. Let me look at the box. I don't think I missed anything. Uh, extra bass Trivet app, Bluetooth 5.3 compatible. Bluetooth 5.3 compatible. The Trivet is... Okay, uh, Rover, if you're still watching, colossal 90 watt sound, beat driven LED show, IPX7 waterproof with a customizable equalizer and a 30 hour long battery life. Yeah, I nailed it, bud. I nailed it. You don't get any frills in the box. You get the, uh, you get the, uh, you get the storm box blast. You get the power cord, and that's pretty much it. Okay, like I said, one more time, as I'm filling in a little bit of time here, the Trivet Stormbox Blast, it's available today for $200 with a $40 off coupon. So it's it's regular, it's regularly uh, $260. It's marked down 23, 25, excuse me. It's marked down 23% today uh, to $199, and now it also has that $40 off coupon. Can't repeat a good deal enough. Okay, now we're going to talk about another little great speaker by Trivet. We're going to put that off center there for a minute. And, uh, and, uh, do, 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 do. okay, just you guys talking with each other. Okay, uh, well, now we're going to talk about the Trivet Stormbox Micro. This is a really small little Bluetooth. Uh, I mean, it's not a really small little Bluetooth, it just looks really small and little compared to the Tribit Stormbox Blast, okay? But this is a fun little, I believe, 20-watt speaker. Is it 20 watts? This is an IP67 waterproof Bluetooth 5.0 speaker that has a long battery life with superior sound and a, a stereo party. So I think that this has two speakers in it uh, built into it. And, uh, yeah, this is really cool. It's got... Um, it's got volume up and down buttons on, on the top, which is kind of like a fabric sort of kind of feeling top uh, and a multifunction button. I know they're kind of difficult to see, but uh, they're there. They're there. So we got volume down, volume up with the MF, MDF, a multifunction button, MFB. And then, uh, and then it has a power button on the side as well as uh, a microphone, I believe, and a battery light. So when we turn this on, it shows us how much is charged. And then we have a Bluetooth button to connect it to something Bluetooth. Add a device. Add a device. Okay, let's add it real quick. Um, pair, yeah, sure. Hey, we paired it instantly. Okay, close this. I think we were having some problems with it on previous shows. So let me open up a little uh, music boy here and uh, do a quick search. Okay, and then let's click on this. Uh, hey, what's up, CC? It's great to see you. Thank you for joining Clown Live today. I don't know how many products we got left in our carousel, but we are taking a look at the Tribit Stormbox Micro right now, and it's a nice little water. Uh... Oh, it's because I put the space. Yes. Okay, so this should play through here. Hey! All right, so this is cool. Let's turn this up. 
So this is max volume. And if you can hear me talking over this, it's got a nice little rubber clip. And, uh, well, I'll talk a little bit. It's just loud. It's just really loud. It's pretty loud. Uh, it's a little bit there's small speakers so it's, it's just vibrating in my hand so it feels a little bit flat on the face this is uh, this is a really great sounding speaker but it does feel like it's a little bit flat on the face uh, the highest sound really nice. It's got little rubber booties on the bottom of it to hold it into place. And uh, and it's got this little like silicone strap that locks into place uh, just like before. Okay, and you can wrap it around a bar uh, in the shower so that you can like you can put it on a, on a bar, on a shower rod or whatever, and it holds into place, right? Now it's not designed to go around your wrist. Barely get my finger through it. So it's just designed to hold on to um, the power pot very uh, very simple. There's no sound. Oh, uh, hold on. Did this switch over to a microphone? No. Yeah, yo, yo. No, I see that my microphone should be working. Are you trying to trick with me? Are you trying to trick me? Are you trying to trick me just now? Because my microphone seems to be working, and I definitely heard audio coming out of this speaker. The music wasn't playing. It doesn't make sense to me because I heard it very clearly. Um, I, I believe you, but also I'm like, what? You can't hear this right now. Anyway, the bass isn't too bad, but it is a little bit flat, okay? And uh, it doesn't mud out the highs too much. It's not a bad song that uh, we made to test speakers with. You can't hear it, but you can hear me. I don't, I genuinely don't understand how that can, I genuinely don't understand how that can be the case that you can hear me, but no music because the music is coming right from the same place as my mouth. The speaker is from the same distance and I hear it. The sound is off. The sound is off here, you only. I don't understand that. You can hear me, but you can't hear. It doesn't make sense to me because I'm playing the audio that is connected to this Bluetooth speaker from my laptop. And I can hear the audio coming out of the speaker. All right, it's gonna have to be something that I troubleshoot another time. But yo, let me let me be uh, giving you as much trust assurance as I can that the Tribit Stormbox Micro is a really really nice IP six uh, seven water resistant speaker that has a little bit flat bass, but it is dual speakers in it, so it is pretty loud. And I like that it has the ability to be strapped to the pole, uh, and that has a really long battery life. It charges with USB C and uh, and is available today for two. Oh, sorry, we had the wrong one highlighted the whole time. Let me just be clear. Uh, I'm done trying to play audio from this speaker for you to hear. Can you hear me very clearly now? Is everything okay? That uh, I'm heard very clearly and the show is still operating normally? Um, let me know. Let me know that we're uh, operating normally. Now, as I wrap up, uh, waiting for that answer, always could hear you. <laughs> Always could, always could hear you. Well, I appreciate you trying to help me figure this out. I don't understand why you couldn't hear the music coming from the speaker unless I was having a hallucination. Uh, it was very loud to me. All right, the Tribit Portable Speaker, though, is available today for $49.99. So $50 today for this uh, cute little speaker, and that's 17% off. Uh, it's regularly $60. Bucks. Save $10 today. The Stormbox Micro has four and a half star rating with just under 5,000 reviews. All right, now let's talk about the Wise Fitness Scale. A 
Okay, the Wise Body Scale is available today for $36 and has four and a half star reviews with 23,531 reviews. So pretty reputable, I would say, four and a half star review there. It is a glass IPO coded digital scale that when you step on it, it sees your weight here. You can connect this with the Wise app and have trends for your body weight or BMI as well. It also tracks a few other body um, measurements such as heart rate, among other things. The scale is available today for $36. Uh, I've been standing on it every day. I don't like the number that I see, but it, it's not going down. But at least it's not going up. So uh, really cool. You connect this with Bluetooth. You can have multiple profiles on it so that you can monitor those trends among different uh, people that are using the scale. It is, connects via Bluetooth. It comes with batteries that are included with the device. Uh, so you don't need to buy batteries for it until these ones run out. And that's everything that I think I should tell you about the scale. It's pretty cool. I like that it's really low profile. It's really low profile scale. It's got weight to it. And uh, it's like a solid body. And it's the legs. It's the feet that measure the weight. Okay. The sensors are in the feet. Okay, so uh, yeah, with over 23,000 reviews, the scale's not too bad, I would say. Um, weight and body fat trends, we said that. 12 essential body composition metrics. You can sync this with popular fitness apps. Oh, it has seamless display cycles. So you can see your weight as well as your BMI, as well as your heart rate uh, with the WISE body scale. Um, unlimited sharing with family and friends, ITO coated glass and a very slim design. The Bluetooth, the Bluetooth Smart Body Composition Monitor is available today for $36. All right, what is next on our carousel? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We got eight more products left and it's 20 to seven. All right, let's drink some water and then let's talk quickly about some upcoming products that we have here in our carousel. We're gonna start with the Yaki laser hair removal tool. Now, I don't have it in my hands. It's gonna be in this blue box behind me. Maybe I should grab it first before I start talking about it. And give her a little plunk down here, Shibuya. Okay, the Yaki laser hair removal tool is a device that is designed to permanently remove hair from unwanted areas of your body. <clears throat> the light energy that is emitted from the device is absorbed into your skin, which is absorbed by melanin in the hair follicle. Uh, and that, that light energy that is absorbed by the hair follicle, it is um, converted into heat energy, which over time disables the follicle, preventing it uh, from growing. So you can see results with the Yaki laser hair removal tool in one to two weeks, but it is up to an eight week treatment. Uh, it comes with the, it comes with the, um, with the AC power cables. You can plug it into the wall. It comes with goggles. Always be certain to be protecting your uh, eyes when using the laser hair removal tool. <clears throat> um, yeah, so uh, it's not good on dark skin and it's not good on blonde hair and red hair. So there's a lot of different uh, skin tones and hair tones that might not uh, be very compatible with the Yaki laser hair removal tool. Be certain to do your due diligence before considering purchasing this product. It looks like a tripod, uh, a tricorder. Looks like a looks like some type of scanning device from uh, Star Trek. <clears throat> so here's the device. Here it is. Uh, here's where the laser is emitted. You put it on, say, your arm, for example, and then we just blast up our arm. To start, we would start doing it up to three times a week, and then we would do it up to two times a week, uh, a couple weeks later, and then eventually down to one time a week, and then down to like maybe once every two weeks or once a month to continue the disabled follicles from growing, okay? Uh, make sure, again, I can't stress enough that if you're using this device, that you wear the included eye goggles, okay? Your eyes are so important. It's not gonna matter what your arm hair looks like if you can't see, okay? So always be certain to, 
to wear those goggles. Now, the laser is safe to put on your skin. It doesn't cause any heat or anything like that. It's available today for 90 bucks, which is 40% off of its regular $150 MSRP. So, so, um, so uh, the Yaki IPL hair removal tool is available for $90 today. This is a huge uh, deal and is already 24% claimed. So if you're looking to remove hair at, uh, uh, at, at a budget rate, I would definitely suggest the Yaki IPL, excuse me, Yaki IPL laser hair removal tool. Uh, Balloon Spy says, you look like the lion from the Wizard of Oz. I've heard worse. He was a cowardly lion, but he got his courage in the end. So we all have our redemption stories. Thank you for your astute observation. Uh, he's the handsome lion. Oh, thank. Oh, thanks. Not the cow. No cowardly here. Sometimes I feel a little cowardly, and that's okay. You know, we need bad things to appreciate good things. Sometimes we need to have scary things so that we can understand brave things. And uh, once I heard a while ago that uh, some of the greatest feelings in life are on the other side of fear. So sometimes when you're feeling like a coward, uh, maybe something that is motivational for you could be knowing that if you do the thing, potentially on the other side of that fear is going to be a great feeling, maybe a sensation of relief, joy, perhaps gratitude. I don't know. Uh, I'm sure a lot of positive feelings are on the uh, other, other side of fear. But sometimes you just have to push through it. You know what I'm saying? But uh, yeah, I definitely... Uh, like I, I'm cowardly when it comes to heights. I'll do it, but I don't like it. Um, yeah, I, I was just thinking of other stuff that makes me scared, and I decided not to say any of it. Um, but thank you, Joanna. You're very, very kind. I appreciate you saying that I'm not cowardly and that I am handsome. Balloon Spy says, uh, "I feel, I feel fear for the last time. I feel." I feel fear for the last time, Dr. Manhattan from Watchmen. I never watched, I never consumed that show, Watchmen. Have you watched the show on Apple TV Plus called Severance? You can download the Apple TV Plus app on your Fire TV Stick 4K if you have one. And I highly suggest that you watch Severance starring Adam Scott. Several of the episodes were directed by Ben Stiller. It's not a comedy. It is amazing. They're filming season two right now. It is Adam Scott and John Turturro and a couple other actors who kind of escape my mind at the moment. They're, they're real names. Uh, it also features Christopher Walken. It's just like a really, really mind-bending show. And I absolutely recommend that if you've never seen Severance, that you watch it. What I need to do is sit down and watch it a second time. I was watching it when it was being released week to week. And, um, and yeah, so uh, I, I need to binge watch it all, all in one fell swoop. What an awesome show. Balloon Spy, if you, if you didn't get a, a watch. Oh, it's Amazon customers uh, thing that got hidden. Oh, careful, careful. Don't get your, don't get auto modded. Um, don't get auto modded here. Uh, okay, uh, Balloon Spy, watch Severance, okay? Let me know. Oh, Joanna, thank you for finally following. I appreciate you so much. I love I love seeing uh, your blue butterflies just fluttering by right next to that word following. It looks so great, and uh, now we can be good-looking together. I'm not saying you weren't good-looking before. I'm going to stop talking before I instantly dig myself into a hole, but I think you know the joke that I'm trying to play around with. And with that... Let's keep it flowing here. The Yaki IPL laser hair removal tool is available today for $90. For $90, and that's 40% off of its average retail value of $150. Okay, so great, great savings today. And once again, 24% claimed on that great deal. So try it not to miss it. Uh, try not to miss it. Try not to miss it. All right, now we got the two Vaughn products here. We can fly through these in a few seconds. So maybe it's not going to be uh, as long of a show as I expected. Uh, we're going to talk about bulbs first. Okay. So these are the Vaunt Smart Bulbs. These are two LED bulbs that you can change the color of when you download the Vaunt app. Okay. Uh, I wish that the Vaunt app didn't require you to sign up an account in order to control the light bulbs. But they did. They did. Whatever, man. You know what I mean? Everybody wants your information. But uh, with the uh, with the Vaunt smart bulbs, this is what you get. You get two plastic bulbs 
that have RGB capabilities. They support up to 16.1 million colors that you can adjust with the Vaunt app uh, that is free on Google or iOS stores. Um, sharing is caring on PC, on mobile. Hit those hearts and stars. Hey, I absolutely agree. Thank you for encouraging that, uh, Joanna. Balloon Spy says, what he meant to say to you was, you make my heart flutter. <laughs> Joanna, uh, uh, Balloon Spy, you are smooth, okay? You are smooth. That is exactly what I meant to say. Thank you for correcting me. Joanna, that's what I meant to say there in the chat. You make my heart flutter, okay? When you hit that follow button, I appreciate you in a major way. But back to the Vaunt lights real quick. This is a fast product to talk about. It's two bulbs that are RGB bulbs that you can change the colors with the app that is downloadable for free. It has a couple different patterns in it. Uh, and yeah, so these are cool. One thing about the two pack is that you can't sync the bulbs together. Uh, you can have it do one mode and then you can have this one do the same mode, but they don't sync up and flash at the same time. So, uh, that's just one thing that I wish I could do is sync them up. Now, admittedly, it's been a few weeks since I used these bulbs. So I don't know if there's been a Vaunt app update to support that feature, but at the time of me using the bulbs, it wasn't, it wasn't supported at that time. So yeah, the Vaunt bulbs are cool. Plastic bulbs, they screw into a traditional light socket. They connect via Bluetooth with the Vaunt app, easy to use, and just add a splash of color uh, or or a theme, uh, uh, a mode, a, a flashing light mode to uh, to these Vaunt lights. Today, the two-pack is available for $18 and has a four-star review with just over 5,000 reviews. <laughs> okay, now let's talk about the Vaunt Smart LED light strip, okay? And that's going to be this pack here. I'm just looking for my opening. Here it is. Okay, so here's how we open the box. Very poorly, okay? Okay, we got the strip light inside, and then when we open it, we're also going to have our AC adapter as well as our control unit. My control unit here okay so we'll leave the ac adapter the ac adapter on the table for now let's pop this bad boy right here like this and then we'll move these out of the way we're not talking about those right now don't fall off the table please and uh, yeah so we're gonna have that and this one second my bulbs are rolling off the table. Okay. The Vaunt Smart LED light strip comes with what you see here. It's a 16.4 foot roll uh, strip of self-adhesive back LED lights. The lights are spaced pretty close together. So they're pretty, they're probably like 30 LEDs per meter. It comes with this control that is going to be your on, on, let me look, uh, your power button, a cycle button, as well as a potential brightness button, I guess. Uh, so I can kind of give a little shadow there so we can see some contrast. So three simple controls to control this. It comes out with a simple, uh, it comes out with a pigtail to plug the lights into, as well as one for the included AC adapter. This is going to be good for like under desk. You can put it wherever you want, but uh, being 16.4 meters, I think it might be good for under desk lighting. Maybe a strip around the, t uh, the desk might be something. Uh, wherever you want to put these lights is uh, fine by me, fine by me, and fine by Vaunt. Now, these lights are also controllable with the Vaunt, uh, with the Vaunt app. Like I said earlier about the bulbs, it is available for free on Google and iOS stores. These self-adhesive LED strip lights are available today for $20. How are they different from Govee? They're different from Govee because they're a different price point. They're a different company. And uh, the apps are going to be different. I don't have an in-depth. I've never personally. I just want to be really clear. Uh, well, price. Yeah, Joanna, pretty much price. Um, how are they different from Govi? I have not personally used these 16-foot uh, Vaunt lights. I want to put this under my desk, but sometimes I'm very self-destructive and extremely lazy and don't do fun things. And also recognize that showing it physically uh, in the role seems like, a smart idea, but I guess showing it in action is probably a smarter idea. So I got to think about where I'm going to put these in. Uh, maybe it should be on my desk. Uh, but yeah, pretty much probably price is going to be a, a, an option. And the app that controls it is going to be different as well. You're going to be using the Vaunt app instead of the Govi app. And so I can say this, I can say this with Govi lights, a lot, not all, but a lot of the Govi lights are going to be individually addressable bulbs, uh, individually addressable LEDs with this 16.4 foot 
uh, strip here, I don't think that you get to individually address each LED. I think uh, I think you're just going to pick a solid color or a color pattern uh, through the app that you can use to like see the lights, but not individually address them. So that could be something different between these go between these Gaunt lights and and Govi lights, where uh, a lot of Govi lights have the ability to individually address the light. Uh, and then that's just a little bit more technology, right? Using uh, using those LEDs. Now, I can't speak in the most intellectually articulate way about it, but I think that's a good jumping point to start uh, comparing differences between specific Gobi lights and these Vaunt lights right here. So, uh, so yeah, so uh, Gobi's cheaper. I just got them for $14 last week. Yo, that's amazing. That's amazing. Um, I think if you have like several Vaunt products, then maybe you want to control your Vaunt environment. I, I, I'm really just highly speculating. It's a very interesting question that you posed. How are they different? Um, <clears throat> I don't personally own any Govi strip lights for me to make a direct comparison to, which I should have led with that instead of saying whatever it is that I just said a moment ago. The only Govi lights that I personally own are um, my Govi outdoor string lights. So uh, I'm hoping to get some Govi LEDs that I can use uh, to make great comparisons to other products like these Vaunt lights in the future. But at this time, like I'm just repeating, I never owned Govi LED lights. So I'm glad that the Govi ones were cheaper for you. Uh, you know, we're talking about these Vaunt lights. We got the Keep Smile lights and it's 100 feet of lights for 20 bucks, you get a hundred feet here. You get 16 and a half feet for 20 bucks. So, um, different things do different things. And I think that for me to get well, good educated, uh, about the lights is probably a smart move. Uh, also, and, and in a very non-defensive way, usually I'm just picking a few key things, topics to talk about. So I really appreciate you trying to keep me on my feet and asking me these really important questions because sometimes I can just kind of get like um, compliant or complicit with the with the situation and just say a couple of things. So I do appreciate you uh, encouraging me to learn more about these lights and how they're different from Govi indoor strip lights, for example. Obviously not the cost, as you've pointed out. Do you want me to put the link in the chat for you to look? Uh, I'll take a look for some Govi uh, indoor self-adhesive lights. It's not a big deal. But, yeah, feel free feel free to put the link in the chat. I could never discourage you, Cece. Please feel free to put the link in the chat. You know I'll open it and take a look at it later. And, uh, yeah, maybe you'll be educated. Maybe I'll be taking in some new education to, uh, to make another comparison for the lights. Uh, okay, I'm just going to clean all these things up after the show. I got such a wide variety of products to take care of after the show. Okay, now, oh, okay, let me grab that link right now before I get distracted. Thank you very kindly. Vaunt LED strip lights, 16-point foot, smart LED lights for bedroom lights, app control, multiple colors, one line, color changing, color sync. Uh, I see 16. Oh, well, okay. I mean, to be fair, you got them for $14 with the coupon. Did the Vaunt ones have a coupon today? Let me click through my carousel and find out. Uh, they have a 25% coupon. They have a 25% coupon. So what is uh, what's uh, what is that like five bucks, four bucks? Save four bucks. It's twenty five percent of twenty four. Yeah, it is right. So um, twenty five percent off. So you can get these for the same cost today. You can get these for the same cost today, or an extremely similar cost. All right, let's drink a little bit of water and then let's move on to uh, original price is still 20 for each. Original price is still 20 for each. That's right. And they have a similar uh, discount. They have a similar discount. $4 off for the for the uh, Govies and 25% off for the uh, for the uh, for the bond. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, now we're going to keep it going here and we're going to talk about this Master Maison 11 piece knife kit. 
the, these are, this is the Supreme series of Master Maison knives that we're going to take a look at right now. And what's cool about this is that these knives are really, really beautiful. Uh, and I find elegance in simplicity. That's what I'm saying. So we're going to leave the box over. Let's put the knives like this. Ooh, ooh, that's not, that's not what I want. I want it like this. I do want it like that. Okay, so let's take a look at these knives real quick here. In this 11-piece kit, you're going to get the block. That's part number one. Part number two is going to be this 8-inch chef's knife. Now, these aren't Damascus steel knives uh, like we were uh, like we're going to show later. These are just regular kitchen knives. The Supreme Series uh, knives are really light but also feel extremely durable. Okay, you get the 8-inch chef knife. You get the 8-inch serrated bread knife. You also get in this kit an 8-inch... Uh, uh, carving knife. You get the carving knife with the Master Maison kit. Also, in conjunction with these three knives, you also get these two. One is going to be a five-inch paring knife, and the other one, uh, excuse me, a five-inch utility knife, as well as a three-and-a-half-inch paring knife. And in conclusion, included with this kit, you're going to get four non-serrated steak knives. Here's an example, excuse me for rubbing my nose, of one of them. Here's an example of one of the steak knives. These knives are really sharp. They cut through everything that I've thrown at them, and uh, they've quickly replaced our old steak knives because our old steak knives are getting kind of dull, and uh, we're happy to have the sharpest series of Master Maison kitchen knives now. Um, the Supreme series, the Supreme series here. This 11 piece kit is available today for $50. It's regularly 69. Okay. Regularly $69, 27% off today, making it 50 bucks. This kit, this 11 piece kit has, uh, over 11 and a half thousand ratings and has an average four and a half star rating. So another high selling, uh, product that has a great review. $50 today for this 11 piece kit. Now that masters. Yeah. Okay. okay, now we're going to talk about the Supreme Series Damascus Steel Chef's Knife. It's available today for $46.99. This is a huge deal. Okay, this heads up on this great deal. 65% off of its traditional $135 price point. It's available today for $47. Drinking that water gave me hiccups. I thought drinking water was supposed to prevent hiccups. Okay, $47 for the knife today. This is a really beautiful uh, Damascus steel chef's knife uh, that is made by Master Maison. It comes with a cleaning cloth that has a flower embroidered on it, uh, as well as the knife itself. And inside the box, it's going to be foam and felt lined uh, for maximum protection of the knife when not in use. Also here, it features a sharpening stone so that you can always hone and refine your uh, your blade to keep it at its best uh, edge. Okay, now the box, when you pull the knife out, it's got this plastic coating on it. Uh, it's like a little like wallet. We just pull the knife out. Okay, let's go to the other camera here. Look at this knife. I love the Damascus on this knife. It's kind of hard to see. Okay, hold on. Stop. Okay. The, the, the Damascus on this knife is absolutely diabolical. I love the pattern on this knife so much. And uh, this is going to be an 8-inch chef's knife. And so they use uh, uh, Master Maison. It's going to use uh, uh, A10 Japanese steel with a unique grinding process to bring you these beautiful Damascus knives. It's going to have that Master Maison etching in the side of the blade as well. And uh, this blade is going to be uh, connected to a solid olive wood handle that has an intricate and elegant rivet holding it in place with a little butt stock on the end or whatever. Okay, uh, the Damascus steel knife is available for $47. $47, okay? Um, today, $47 for this Master Maison authentic Japanese steel knife and uh, Damascus steel knife. And that's a really, really great deal. It's a super great deal. It's 65% off today. It comes with the box like I was showing earlier, which is great to keep the knife in good, good shape at all times. You don't just throw this one in a drawer, okay? For $47, you, you'd be, you, you should definitely consider this for $47 today, absolutely.
Um, telling you about the knife a little bit further, the Japanese Damascus knife uh, it has a four and a half star rating with 230 reviews. All right, now let's blast through this one super quick. I've been keeping these in the box and the box is starting to let go. I think I need to get some kitchen, uh, some kitchen uh, storage so that I'm not keeping these in the original box. Okay, let's let's talk about three. We'll talk about three different ones. Okay, we'll talk about three different ones. All right, so now we're going to take a look at these Hot Target 13 silicone. Oh yeah, sorry. Let's do this a little more fresh. They're in there. You see them in there? Okay. Let's talk about this Hot Target 13 silicone spatula and spoon set that you can get today for fifteen dollars, dude. This is 56% off. This is basically, like I know it's almost, it's $14.50, but this is basically like a dollar ten per, per, uh, per tool, per tool, per kitchen tool. Okay, the 13 silicone spatula set comes with large spatulas and, and slotted spoons and spaghetti spoons. It comes with ladles and whisks and tongs. It comes in the color black today. For $14.49, you're going to get the whole kit. Uh, this is 56% off because regularly this 13-piece kit is $33. Regular $33. Today it's available for $14.49. That's 56% off. These are stainless steel. Let's put one down. These are stainless steel coated with silicone, okay? Uh, it feels like very light. It feels like hollow almost, but uh, also very sturdy. It feels very sturdy, okay? Uh, we use these, and then when we're, when we're done with them, we just put them back in the box that they came in. Because, again, I'm always showing them on the show. And, uh, oh, they all say H. Oh, they all say H. I thought they were marked. Um, yeah, so I got to get kitchen storage. I got to get kitchen organization. The Hot Target silicones are avail uh, silicone utensils are available today for $15. That's, to me, that's my deal of the day. I'm picking that as the best deal that I've got in my carousel. It's 56% off, 15 bucks, it's 15 bucks. Running out of space on the table. The table's getting full of stuff. All right, we just got two quick products left to talk about. I'll grab them both right now. This and this and this. Okay, right now we're going to talk about these fine dine glass food storage containers. Now, on here's here's some confusion that I have about these containers, okay? When we click through the carousel today, these are marked as a three pack that are 32 ounces. When you click through the carousel and you look at the Amazon product page for 30 How how hold on. I'm so confused. I'm so, I'm so confused, okay? Uh, right now, this is what I'm saying, all right? When we click through the carousel, yeah, really good timing. Thank you, Rover. But Rover, maybe you can help me real quick understand something, okay? Uh, right now, when we click through the carousel, we are taken to the Fine Dine store for the Superior Glass Round Meal Prep Containers 3-Pack 32 ounce, 32 ounce containers, but we have here the three pack and it's, and it's marked on the box, 35 ounces. Okay. So these are marked 35 ounces um, by my finger here. So I know that's virtually impossible to see, but yeah, you can see that. So 35 ounces on this box. Now I went clicking through my carousel to try to find, um, to try to find the 35 ounce containers and i had an issue being able to do that and also not only that but today today in my carousel today hold on today right now in my carousel i see when we click through the carousel we're greeted by the fine dine store 32 ounce glass containers okay and that they're 31 dollars and nine cents okay we're going to share screen here real quick because i'm feeling a little confusy a little confusy so let's full screen me let's get ready to present a screen to the uh show let's share our entire screen here and then uh, we want to show this screen that's right 
uh, with audio, whatever. Okay, share this screen. All right, so okay, let's let's jump, let's close all these tabs first of all, so that I can give you this like pure experience. Okay, so look, I've got one tab open. I've got one tab open and it's the show, okay? And here's my carousel, here's the three pack. So let me click on this and then it opens up a new tab. And now this new tab says that they're the three pack 32 ounce. Okay, whatever, whatever. They're the same thing, just a couple ounces different. Uh, these are Amazon's choice in food container sets by Fine Dine. Okay, fair enough. But they're listed here at $31.09. So why is it in my carousel today listed at $24.23? This is what causes me some slight confusion. So this is another thing that I think I'm going to have to take a closer look at because I've been affected by it in the past as well. Uh, so I'm going to carry on by looking at the product page because I think it's going to be the most up-to-date. Um, and uh yeah let's also uh that's okay we'll just go like this okay so we're gonna take a look real quick here at the fine dine food glass storage containers uh and this is what this is what we got here so i got i got it in my hand i'm down at the bottom of the page here uh at the bottom of the screen on the left we did the rabbit hole today rover we did it at the beginning of the show Okay, last two products. Let's wrap up today's show. The Superior Glass Round Meal Prep Containers on the box that I have say they are 35 ounces. On this product page, it says they are 32 ounces, okay? So I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I'm going to have to fill mine with water and see how many ounces of water goes into this container and then see which one is more accurate, the page for me or the box that they came in. Um, might be for prime users, the lower price, but, I oh, okay. I'm not a prime user. I'll, I'll tell you that I'm not an Amazon prime. I guess you can see that from my thing. All right. Then we're just going to go back to the double, the double thing. All right. Fine Dine is really great. They have these few, these glass containers that have these plastic lids and the lids have these gray gaskets in them that make it easy to not get food stuck. The, the gaskets come out really easily. Uh, when you need them to for cleaning. Now, obviously, I'd like use a little fork or a little knife, but really it just takes like a second there. So you can remove the gasket extremely easily. And then when you have the gasket back in place, super easy to install. You can't put it in wrong. You just put it in, tuck it back into place. This is uh, advertised as dishwasher safe, but I will tell you that I do hand wash my plastic, okay? Because I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But once we get the gasket back in place, super easy to reseat. We just put it on our dish and then lock our hinges down. Make sure that our hinges aren't obstructed before we lock them down. And that's it. This makes a watertight container uh, that I've demoed a bunch of times. So these are really cool. These are great to our, our thermal shock resistant. So you can put them in your freezer, pull them out, put them in your oven, and then take them from your oven and serve them right on your table. Excellent, excellent serving containers. All right. Um, uh, they're available today for a price. They're either available for $25 or $31. I, I'm a little uncertain based on what I'm looking at in my carousel and this product page and what I have physically in my hand. But uh, I have tried to deal with this in the past, and I went to the Fine Dine store, and I looked for 35-ounce container, couldn't find them. They didn't have anything that was 35 ounces. So why would they make a difference between three ounces? I, I don't get it. So I don't know. I'm a little confused there myself. But uh, what I'm not confused about is the high-quality seal that you get with this watertight container. I really like how uh, how how good they are. You know, We don't spill soups, putting them in the fridges or pineapple juice or anything anymore. They're great. All right, real quick on the side of the box, 100% uh, leak, 100% uh, leak proof, okay? Lead, these are made of lead-free glass and a BPA-free lid. They are 100% hypoallergenic, as well as bacteria, mildew, and mold resistant, 100%. Uh, and like I said earlier, these are suitable for oven to table use. So you can put these in the freezer, directly in the oven, not a big deal. OK, uh, I like my fine dine dishes and whether you get a 32 ounce, 
three pack for $31 or a 35 ounce pack for $25. Uh, the fine dine seals are amazing. And I know you're going to be absolutely impressed. All right. Now we're going to move on to our final product of the day. Really, really easy. Really, really simple guys. Okay. So let's pull this up. Boom. And we'll pull this one out as well. Okay. So this is going to be now uh, the flathead uh, silicone straws. The flathead products, here's here's the label. I need both my hands. So here's the flathead products cinch sack that your 10 reusable straws comes in. Comes with a pipe cleaner to clean your straws uh, as well as the straws themselves. And I reached in the bag and grabbed two, randoms, one, two random ones. I just happened to get aqua for both of them. But they come in aqua, white, pink, and blue. Uh, and you get five colors, you get five colors, two of each color. Uh, and these are flexible, flexible silicone straws. They are angled at the top and they have uh, a nice uh, angle at the bottom as well so that they don't like suck to the bottom of your cup. You can cut these, but you can only cut them once. They don't self-repair. And uh, yeah, we lose, use these as often as we need to. I use them for my skull mug uh, almost every single day. Uh, they do have little flat head uh insignia kind of really hard to see but they do have flathead their name kind of imprinted on the straw and yeah these are just really simple silicone straws you get a 10 pack with the cinch sack and the pipe cleaner today for eight dollars and fifty cents eight dollars and 49 cents and heads up on this amazing deal y'all because it is 35 percent off of its traditional 13 dollar msrp uh so yeah 10 10 bent reusable silicone straws from flathead products can be yours today for the amazing deal of 35 percent off making them eight dollars and 49 cents boom we did it we did 22 products we had an all product show i love all product shows so much i'm glad that i got to do this one with you okay so to everybody to the five people that are in the chat watching Thank you, Rover and Cece and Joanna, as well as uh, Balloon Spy and Dixie, as well as Big Will. I saw you out here earlier. And uh, everybody that came in to join today, if I didn't get to say your name, I appreciate you coming out. And uh, that's it. Clown Live is completed. Okay. So let's switch over to our regular view and uh, let's stop the thing and reset. Okay, so thank you everybody for coming out and hanging out with me, Dragon Blaker. You can call me Blake. I've been your host on this ride today. This is Clown Live, and it's been an Amazon Live interactive shopping experience presented to you by Shopping Dragons. I'm going to come back here tomorrow at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, as we do every single weekday, okay? So I love you all, and I appreciate you all very much. Y'all are so great and so kind to spend some of your time with me. You could be anywhere you want. You know what I mean? So I'm really, really thankful for you all. Uh, Robert, you have a great day. And to everybody else that might be not uh, saying anything, you all have a great day. Whoop, whoop. Much clown love. And I'm going to catch you all tomorrow. All right. Bye, everybody.